Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to replace the rear power window regulator, um, the regulator motor assembly on this 2003 Honda Civic. Pretty much the same for any 2001 to 2005 Civic with power windows. Tools you'll need are a small flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, door panel clip tool or a similar tool to pry the door panel off, 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, and some painter's tape. Okay, you want to start right up under here. There's a little trap door. Use a small flat blade screwdriver. Pull that out. You can see two Phillips screws back here. Use your small screwdriver, uh, pry it in under the front of uh, the panel and pull out on that panel and remove it. Back up in here. I'll fast forward here as I remove the two screws behind the door pull and then also the two screws that were behind the door handle. Okay, now you pull the door handle out and there's a clip right back here. You can either use a screwdriver or your thumb, push the clip and pull that rod up and out. Okay, now either use a door panel clip tool or even a household pipe knife would work. You slide it back in behind the door, up until you hit a clip, and then around the clip, pull down, and then work right around the door. Release those clips. And you can come up and out. And now, just your window switch. You reach under and push up. You're reaching close to the door panel. Push up, and there's a little tab. You basically push up on this tab and disconnect it, and your panel's off. And even though I am going kind of fast forward through this, you want to slowly and carefully pull down your water shield. Uh, this protects the door panel and the inside of the vehicle from getting water uh, from the outside in it. So um, don't just tear this or stretch it. Uh, you want to slowly and carefully pull it and use your putty knife uh, to kind of cut through the stuff that sticks it on. These window regulators are cable actuated. And normally what happens is that cable breaks. And when that cable breaks, you usually hear a popping sound and then maybe some grinding and your window falls down into the door. And generally what happens is when the cable breaks and the window regulator goes bad, you can actually grab hold of the window and move it up and down by hand. So what you might want to do is just have a helper hold it so that the, these two bolts that hold the window to the regulator are right down in this position and you can get to them easily. I'm just going to fast forward as I remove those two bolts. So you've got some painter's tape here. You can just lift your window up, slide it right up, as high as it will go, and use the painter's tape to hold it in place. Now you're going to disconnect your lead. Press just a little button here. Pull down, and now you'll want to loosen these three bolts here, one, two, and three, okay, remove these two bolts and this bolt down here. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to pull out on this uh, lead and push it down, get off that clip, push it in the door. And speed up here again as I just remove uh, the bolts that hold the window motor and the window regulator rail uh, into the door. Put the window up and window motor out of place. You can bring the regulator up and out through here. Okay. 
the motor as well. But my old one's actually in fine shape, uh, so I am going to reinstall it. I'm just kind of really showing you how to do this. Okay, the best way to do it is put the rail in and then kind of put the motor in at the same time. Make everything go in there. Okay, reach your hand in, grab the motor, bring it up into place. Okay, if you're putting a new one in, you will need to transfer these bolts uh, to the new motor. That slides right in place. Now you can bring the rail up. Make sure that you have the rail in close. Okay, I'm going to start this bolt here. Speed it up here a little bit as I just start the other two bolts for the window regulator rail. Okay, before I tighten anything up, I'm going to reach in behind and find my lead. Bring the lead out, slide it back on, and I can actually reconnect it. Now I'll tighten these bolts up. Ready to remove the tape. Let the window slide down slowly. And get the window into place. We'll start one of the bolts. Usually, I take my extension. Speed up here again as I just uh, thread those bolts the rest of the way in and then tighten them up nice and firm. The bolts that hold the window to the regulator are the longer bolts. Uh, you use the shorter bolts for the motor and the regulator rail to the door. Okay, so your motor is all remounted and tight. Bolts here are all tight. And then the bolts for the rail are tight. Put your water shield back up in place. I usually uh, put it up, make sure you put the harness through, and put the little plugs in the corners, and then stick the rest of the perimeter on. Okay, reconnect your window switch. Make sure that your lock button is up. Lift the panel up, put the lock button in, push the panel against the window, slide it down, place, and now the, the clips all go right in. Take your handle, make sure you pull the clip back, slip the rod down in, and slip the clip around, lock it, put that back in place. And then, now reinstall the two screws here and the two screws under your door pole. I'll fast forward here as I reinstall, reinstall those four screws. Again, it's the two screws in behind the door handle uh, and then the two screws that hold the door pole um, to the panel and the door. Okay, put this trim panel on. The two tabs go at the bottom. Put it in, lock it in place, and then this one just goes in place and slides right on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.